welcome to maths tv today we will be going through paper igcsc maths 058021 may june 2018 if you want to go through the complete paper you can go with the flow of the video but if you want to go to some specific question if you want to revise some specific question we will provide list of questions that is index so you can refer to this particular question question number 1 write on a prime number between 20 and 30 we have to find prime number between 20 and 30 prime number you know are the numbers which are divisible by 1 and itself only so if we consider 21 21 will not be a prime number because which is divisible 21 is divisible by 3 and 7 and 21 so 23 we can consider as prime number then 24 25 26 27 28 29 29 will be the next prime number so these are the two numbers which are in between 20 and 30 and are divisible by 1 and itself only so our answer will be 23 and 29 question number 2 write 0.0000387 in standard form so standard form you know is that decimal we have to move after first non zero number so in between 3 and 8 we have to shift this decimal in between 3 and 8 so we'll check how many jumps it will be 1 2 3 4 and 5 jumps so 5 jumps to the right means it will be 3.87 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 because it is shifting towards right mean minus and if we are shifting towards left it will be plus so our answer will be 3.87 into 10 raised to the minus 5 now question number 3 write the recurring decimal 0.6363 is recurring as fraction so we have to write 63 in the form of um fraction we can write x is equal to 0.63 both are recurring and uh, we can write it as 0.6363 this one recurring and now we have to shift this uh, to the right two decimal to the right so we can multiply it with 100 so 100x will be equal to 63.63 which is recurring and 100 min 100x this will be 100x is equal to this one so we can subtract x which is 0.63 recurring and if we subtract this one we will get 99x is equal to uh, 63 so x will be equal to 63 over 99 and 63 divided by 99 will be equal to 7 over 11 so we can write 7 over 11 so this will be in fraction format find the value of 7x plus 3y when x is equal to this one and y is equal to this one so we will replace these two values in this one in this given expression 7 into 12 which is value of x plus 3 into 3 into minus 6 Uh, so when we multiply this one will be 84 minus 18 so 84 84 minus 18 will be equal to 66 
so we can write this is equal to 66 and answer will be 66 diagram is given which is not to this to scale the diagram shows two parallel lines p a q p a q and s b c t s b c t these two are parallel lines so a b is equal to a c a b is equal to a c and angle q a c q a c is given as 43 find value of x we have to find this value of x so <coughs> these two lines are parallel to each other so this angle will be equal to this angle this is 43 so this will also be 43 now <coughs> this one this side is equal to this side so opposite angles will be equal so this will be also 43 degrees and three angles of interior angles of a triangle are adding up to 180 degree so x will be equal to 180 minus 43 plus 43 so this will be value of x so x can be written as 180 minus 86 degrees so 180 180 minus 86 will be equal to 94 so this will be equal to 94 degrees and our answer will be 94 degrees question number six Calculate the area of a circle with radius. Radius is given. So formula for area of a circle is equal to pi r square. So pi will be 3.142 into or we can use the calculator also. And r square means 5.1 squared. 5.1 squared. So if we use calculator if we use calculator this will be uh, 3 uh, we can use pi button as well so pi into 3 point uh, sorry 5.1 squared will be equal to 81.7 81 0.7 so we can write 81.7 centimeter squared question number 7 a b c triangle is given uh, base and hypot uh, perpendicular are given hypotenuse we have to find calculate a c and by pythagoras theorem we know a c square is equal to a b square plus b c squared so we can write a b square mean 2.5 squared plus 4.1 squared and if we want directly a c we have to take root of this one so we can use calculator to find uh, Uh, root 2.5 squared plus 4.1 squared is equal to 4.802 so we can write 4.80 centimeters question number 8 expand and simplify we have to expand and simplify <clears throat> so 6 will be multiplied by this so 6 into 2 will be 12 y minus 6 into 3 will be 18 Min minus 5 into y 5 y and minus 5 into plus 1 so it will be minus 5 
uh, 12y minus 5y will be 7y and minus 18 minus 5 will be 23 so 7y minus 23 will be our answer question number 9 3 raised to a minus q into 1 over 27 is equal to 81 find the value of q so first of all we will shift this to other side 3 raised to a minus q is equal to 81 into 27 which is 81 into 27 81 multiply by 27 is equal to 2187 2187 so 3 raised to a minus q is equal to 2187 so if we check 3 raised to the power 7 is equal to 2187 so this one 2187 we can write it as 3 raised to the power 7 so 3 and 3 bases are same 3 raised to the power minus q is equal to 3 raised to the power 7 bases are same so we can leave these bases and we can write minus q is equal to 7 and to find the value of q q will be equal to minus 7 this will be our answer so we can write Q is equal to minus seven. Question number ten, a part. Calculate this uh, uh, expression is given. Writing down your full calculator display. Basically, we have to give full calculator display. So we'll use calculator for this one. And root two point three eight plus six point four square will be equal to this one this is a calculator display we will write here um, 6.5833122236 this is what we are showing For b part write your answer to part a correct to four decimal places four decimal places we have to give so four decimal places mean up to this one so if we write the complete expression answer we, we are copying this one so four decimal places will be one two three four so we'll have to remove from here and this number is less than five so we'll just remove we'll not be increasing this number so it will be six point five eight three three this will be our answer now question number 11 find the exact value of this one exact value we have to calculate 8 raised to the power 2 by 3 we can use calculator for this 8 raised to the power we'll be using fraction 2 over 3 and multiplication 49 raised to the power again fraction minus 1 over 2 this will be equal to 4 by 7 4 over 7 we will write answer over here solve the inequality question number 12 solve the inequality this inequality is given 3n minus 5 is greater than 17 plus 8n so we can shift this to this side and we can write 5 minus 5 is greater than 17 plus 8n minus 3n so minus 5 and this 17 we can shift to other side minus 17 is greater than 5n now this will be minus 22 minus 22 is greater than 5n we can divide both sides by 5 
this will be cancelled and minus 22 over 5 minus uh, we can write like fraction minus 22 divided by 5 will be equal to if we check the mixed fraction um, mixed fraction will be sorry mixed fraction will be 4 whole minus 4 whole 2 by 5 so n is less than if we read from this side n is n is less than minus 4 whole 2 by 5 this will be our answer question number 13 without using your calculator work out this one so this is without using one whole 3 by 4 we can write it as 4 into 1 will be 4 plus 3 so 7 by 4 we can write 7 by 4 and multiplication this will be 6 over 35 so we can cancel 7 1s are 7 7 5s are 35 and 2 2s are 4 2 3s are 6 now 1 into 3 will be 3 and 5 into 2 will be 10 so we can write it as 3 over 10 Question number 14, use the sign rule to find angle A, B, C. So we have to find this angle by sign rule. And sign rule, you know, is sign uh, A, sign A over A is equal to sign B over B is equal to sine C over C so we have this angle C and we have to find B so we'll use this portion of the sine rule so we can write sine B over B opposite to this B is B so small b so we will write sine B over 5.9 5.9 is equal to sine C which is this angle 84.6 over value of C which is opposite to this one 17.8 centimeters so we will find this by sending this to the side sine B is equal to sine 84.6 divided by 17.8 into 5.9 so if we find this with calculator example fraction sine 84.6 um, over 17.8 multiply by 5.9 uh, this is uh, equal to 0 0.32 0 0.32998964 and sine we can find b by sine inverse b is equal to sine inverse of this value 0 0.32998964 so we will find sine inverse of this value we have this value already written so we will sh we'll find shift sine sine inverse of answer will be equal to 19.26 so this will be 19.26 which can be written as 19.3 question number 15 y is directly proportional to this when x is equal to 5 y is equal to 4 find y when x is equal to 7 so we will write y is directly 
directly proportional to x minus 1 whole square. So we can write y is equal to constant of proportionality which is k into x minus 1 whole square. So we will uh, replace value of x which is 5 minus 1 whole square and value of y also we can replace here which is uh, 4 so value of y which we can replace here as 4 so we can find the value of k 4 is equal to k into this will be 4 square which is 16 so k is equal to 4 over 16 which is 1 by 4 so value of k is 1 by 4 so we can write this equation y is equal to 1 over 4 into x minus 1 whole square now find y when x is equal to 7 so 1 by 4 into 7 minus 1 square 7 minus 1 means 6 so 1 by 4 into 6 square which is 36 so 36 over 4 which is equal to 9 so answer will be 9 question number 16 on the grid draw the image of shape R this is given shape R after the transformation represented by this matrix so this shape we can uh, write the coordinates of these four points one two three four we can mark it as a b c and d so these uh, coordinate of a will be two and one 2, 1, coordinates of B are 1 and minus 1, coordinates of C are 4 and minus 1, coordinates of D are 4 and 1. So, in matrix form, we can write 2, 1, 1 minus 1, 4 minus 1 and 4 and 1 in this matrix form and we will multiply this with this mat given matrix so 0 minus 1 and 1 and 0 now we will multiply these two matrices we know we have to multiply this this row with this one and we will get 2 into 0 and minus so 2 into 0 will be 0 and minus 1 into minus 1 into 1 will be minus 1 so 0 minus 1 then this into this one will be 0 and minus 1 into minus 1 will be plus 1 then first row with third column this will be 0 and plus 1 and then this row with the last column will be 0 and minus 1. Similarly, this second row with first column will be 2 and 0, 2 plus 0. Then this, this will be 2, uh, 1 uh, plus 0. This with this will be 4 plus 0. This with this will be 4 plus 0. So this will be our matrix after multipl multiplication this one we can write minus 1 and 2 this will be 1 and 1 this will be 1 and 4 and last one will be minus 1 and 4 we can find the um, we, we can find the locations for this one minus 1 and 2 minus 1 and 2 will be this point
then one and one one and one will be this this point then one and four one and four will be this point minus one and four minus one and four will be this point so this will be new location if we draw this location So this will be the drawing and this will be you can see this is rotation 90 degree anti-clockwise so we can write here rotation anti-degree the rotation rotation 90 degrees anti-clockwise about origin about origin or O question number 17 the speed time graph shows information about the journey of a tram between two stations calculate distance between two stations one station is over here and the second one is this one. Speed time graph is given. Area under this speed time graph will give us the distance covered. So we will find area under the graph. We can split into one, two and three shapes. These two are the triangles. One and three are the triangles. And the second shape number two is rectangle. So we will find area of this triangle first and you know area of a triangle is half into half into base into height base is 10 so base into height which is 20 so this one this will be area of this triangle plus area of this shape which is from 10 to 100 10 100 minus 10 will be 90 so this side is 90 90 multiply by height which is 20 so 90 into 20 because this is rectangle so rectangle is uh, multiplying both sides then the last shape which is again triangle and this triangle is 1 by 2 into base which is from 100 to 130 which is 30 so base into height which is again 20 so we'll, we'll calculate with the calculator <coughs> So 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 10 multiply by 20 plus 90 90 into 20 plus 1 over 2 into 30 multiplied by 20 30 multiplied by 20 this will be equal to double two double zero so this will be equal to 2200 and this is in meters so we can write it as 2200 meters B part calculate the average speed average speed of the tram for whole journey average speed you know is distance covered divided by time total time taken and total time taken is 130 so distance divided by time distance divided by time will be equal to average speed so we can divide this double to divided by 130 is equal to 16.92 16.92 and up to three significant figures we can write 16.9 meters per second 
क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन द कमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी डायग्राम शोज इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द टाइम एम मिनट्स टेकन बाय वन ट्वेंटी स्टूडेंट्स टू कंप्लीट सम होमवर्क यूज द कमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी डायग्राम टू फाइंड एन एस्टिमेट of the intercurtile range intercurtile for intercurtile range will will calculate 25th percentile and 75th percentile of this cumulative frequency and uh, so we'll calculate 25% of uh, 120 so 25 percent of 120 will be equal to 30 so we'll check from this side <coughs> 30 20 here and in the middle of this one will be 30 so up to this one will be 30 and we will draw this will be lower quartile we can show with dotted line this will be dotted line over here now <coughs> we can find uh, 75th percentile and 75th percentile will be equal to 90 so we will check indication for 90 80 is this one 100 is this one so in the middle of that one will be 90 so we will draw the line for 90 and we can even draw the solid line also but i am drawing dotted line on this side as well so <coughs> intercurtile is difference between this one and this one 30 and 20 so 30 minus 20 will be equal to 10 so intercurtile is 10 minutes <coughs> b part the number of students who took more than 50 minutes to complete the homework so 50 minutes is up to this one so more than 50 minutes we will again check the graph so more than 50 minutes mean we'll draw the line like this one and check on this side this will be this one so we can see here only one and two two boxes two boxes mean two boxes are equal to two students so we can write it as four so two boxes multiply by two we'll get four students so four students will be our answer Question number nineteen. Calculate the angle L M N. So this is the angle which we have to calculate. <coughs> we'll apply cosine rule, and if we write cosine, because all three sides are given, and we have to find an angle. So in that case, we we'll, we are applying cosine rule. L N is opposite side of this angle. So cosine rule we will write L N. Square is equal to these two sides. Sum of two sides. Square L M square plus N M squared minus two into L M into N M cos M. So we replace values. L N is equal to fourteen. So 14 square is equal to 19 squared plus 16 squared minus 2 into 
19 into 16 cos of m so we can shift these two other sides 14 square minus 19 square minus 16 square is equal to minus 2 into 19 into 16 cos of m so <coughs> cos m we can write cos m is equal to 14 square minus 19 square minus 16 square divided by minus 2 into 19 into 16 so we will solve this with calculator so 14 square minus 19 square minus 16 square over minus 2 into 19 into 16 so this will be equal to 0 0.692 0 0.692 4 3 4 2 1 0 5 so we'll take cos inverse of this one so m will be equal to cos inverse of 0 0.6924 Three four two one zero five. So we'll check cos inverse of this one. So shift cos of answer will be equal to forty six point one seven. Forty six point one seven, which is approximately equal to forty six point two degrees. Question number 20. A part, a box contains three blue pens, four red pens and eight green pens only. A pen is chosen at random from the box. Find the probability that this pen is green. So green are eight. So probability for green will be equal to 8 which is number of green divided by the total number which is 12 13 14 15 so 8 by 15 so answer will be 8 over 15 for a part and b part another box contains seven black pens eight orange pens only so two types of pens seven black pens and eight orange pens two pens are chosen at random from this box without replacement calculate the probability that at least one orange pen is chosen so orange is 8 so the probability for not orange will be uh, 1 minus 7 over 15 into 6 over 14 because 6 over 14 because it's without replacement so without replacement total number will decrease by 1 so we can calculate this so if we use calculator 1 minus 7 over 15 into 6 over 14 and this is equal to 4 over 5 and we can write 4 over 5 or we can uh, write on the marking scheme answer which is 168 over 210 if we solve this without simplification we will get this answer so we can write 168 over 210 Question number 21. There are four inequalities that define the region R. One of these is this one. Find the other three inequalities. We have to find other three inequalities. 
let us identify which one these lines are there 1 2 3 and 4 so this inequality is for which line this is what we have to check if we use the equation y is equal to mx plus c equation of line so this is the y intercept c value and y intercept in this case is 1 so it means this line is passing through 1 y value 1 and if we see y value is this one 1 so only this line this line is passing through 1 so this inequality is for this given line so we got we identified this line for which inequality is given now we have to write equations for other three lines so for this line equation will be y is greater than equal to this is 1 and this is 2 so this is 1.5 1.5 in the middle of this so we can write y is greater than equal to 1.5 greater than equal to because this is solid line and <coughs> this will be our f one uh, line the second line for uh, <coughs> this one we can find the slope of this line uh, y intercept is zero so this c value will be zero and slope will be uh, rise which is 3 and run which is 4 so 3 by 4 for this line uh, for this line slope will be 3 by 4 so we can write equation y is greater than equal to 3 by 4 x plus 0 because this is passing through origin so plus 0 no need to write plus 0 so we got 1 and 2 equations third equation third equation will be for this line which is having negative slope and slope is a rise which is 3 over run which is 6 so 3 by 6 will be 1 by 2 so 3 over 6 will be 1 by 2 which is negative so minus 1 by 2 is slope for this given line dotted line so we can write y is less than not equal to less than only less than because it is a broken line minus 1 by 2 which is the gradient and x y is equal to mx plus c right so it's passing through y is equal to 3 so we'll write plus 3 so our equations will be we will shift these equations and we will write y is greater than equal to 1.5 and y is greater than equal to 3 by 4 x and uh, this one last equation will be y is less than minus 1 by 2 x plus 3 these will be the three equations question number 22 f of x is equal to 5 minus 2 x g of x is also given calculate f of f of minus 3 so first of all we will calculate f of minus 3 so we replace in this one 5 minus 2 into minus 3 this will be equal to 5 and plus 6 which is equal to 11 so f of minus 3 is equal to 11 so we will find to find f of f of minus 3 basically we will find f of 11 f of 11 which will be equal to 5 minus 2 into 11 which is equal to 5 minus 22 which is equal to minus 17 so answer to this one will be minus 17 now b part find g of 2x so g of x is given so we will replace uh, 2x so this will be 2x squared plus 8 so this will be equal to 4x squared plus 8 this will be our answer 4x squared plus 8 uh, next part f inverse of x so f of x is given f of x 
is equal to 5 minus 2x we, we can replace y is equal to 5 minus 2x so we can make x a subject so we'll shift y uh, 5 5 minus 5 is equal to minus 2x so shift minus 2 also y minus 5 over minus 2 is equal to x now we can uh, we can um, uh, swap x and y so x minus 5 over minus 2 is equal to y so this one we can uh, to accommodate this minus we can switch these two so this will be 5 minus x over 2 is equal to y this will be our answer 5 minus x over 2 question number 23 40 people were asked how many times they visited the cinema in one month the table shows the results this is the table given find the mode mode mean most occurring which is 7 so 4 number of visits number of cinema visits 4 will be most occurring so we will write answer to this one as 4 calculate the mean to calculate mean we will be multiplying 5 5 into 0 plus 5 into 1 plus 6 into 2 plus 6 into 3 plus 7 into 4 plus 5 into 3 plus 6 into 6 plus 7 into 2 so if we calculate this we will get 128 so 128 divided by 40 because total 40 people are asked this question so 128 divided by 40 will be equal to 3.2 so answer will be 3.2 B part Umar wants to show the information from the table in a pie chart calculate the sector angle for the people who visited cinema five times so if we check the table for number frequency for five times is 3 so 3 over 3 over 40 3 out of 40 people uh, multiply by 360 because we want to show on a pie chart so this can be calculated 3 divided by 40 into 360 this will be equal to 27 so answer to this one will be 27 question number 24 a part point a has coordinates 1 and 0 and point b has coordinates 2 and 5 calculate the angle between the line a b and the x axis and we know tan theta tan theta is equal to uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so y2 minus y1 mean 5 minus 0 over 2 minus 1 so theta is equal to tan inverse 5 over 1 so if we find tan inverse shift tan shift tan 5 will be equal to 78.69 so 78.69 so answer can be 78.7 degrees 
v part the line pq has equation this one y is equal to 3x minus 8 and point p has coordinates this so if we suppose for example this is line pq and this is p and this one is q so p has coordinates of 6 and 10 find the equation find the equation of the line that passes through p through this point and is perpendicular to pq this equation has this line has equation y is equal to 3x minus 8 so perpendicular to this p roughly if i draw perpendicular this will be like this so this line will be having gradient which is reciprocal and negative sign of this one because this is perpendicular so m will be equal to minus 1 over 3 for this line so we have to find the equation of line with this gradient and this point so we can write on the formula which is uh, y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so directly we will be replacing values y minus y1 mean 10 is equal to m which is minus 1 by 3 into x minus x1 which is 6 so we will open the brackets y minus 10 is equal to minus 1 by 3 x plus 6 by 3 so this will be 2 so y will be equal to minus 1 by 3 x plus 2 plus 10 we will shift to on to this side so final equation will be y is equal to minus 1 by 3 x plus 12 so we can write here minus 1 by 3 x plus 12 Thanks for watching Maths TV. See you next time.